Yo, hello, what's up? This is again Trevor from Joe Photography. I know it's been a long time since I last posted. And with this brand new tutorial, I want to uh, review some of the techniques that can be used by professional photographers in their photos to add colors to black and white photos. I know some of you have been having old photos like of mine I have and most of them are black and white and you might be asking yourself can i get color into my photo yes it's right and this is a new way and it's called a palette a palette it is an ai generated software and it's used online to colorize your photos and one of the good thing i love about it it's free of charge so this is a free software for you to get your photos like this one to some of to to good colors in it so you can add life vibe or color or feel or mood into your old photos even if they are black and white for free and it is an online software so for this photo this was the before and that's my friend matt is trying to get to review that keep going matt so that's keep going keep going oh. are you okay matt yeah oh that's great and these are some of the photos that was the original that's one of the filters and those are some of the, my favorite and let me try to get into details to show you all those photos So you open up any browser of your favorite beat chrome beat or paramini and go to your search engine and put in petapixel and it is a platform that gives news and updates about photography and camera some of the reviews what is new and this is the interface for our website for peta pixel so you go to the search and put in palette so when you do search it brings up a palette on the top and they say a palette is a free web-based ai powered photo colorizer and it is a new artificial intelligence powered web tool called parrot so you are able to take any black and white photo and colorize it so the creator is so confident in the result and he's building it the dull e of color so you go to this and click in the first search so it's when i review you some of what it does and this is the before on my left and this is the after and how are we going to do it because you're doing this stuff online and you must have a faster internet so i'm using my phone i'm using hotspot to connect internet to my pc so you go here and click palette and you to load up the interface where you can colorize all your photos so this is the interface and it can give you some of the tutorials on how to do that but it's what i'm doing for you so click here to click or drop an image click so it will bring to you this small interface go to show all files and you go to show all files try to browse where you had saved all your old photos so you click in this folder and select any photo and say open so when you open up the photo it will load up so when it opens up a photo up here are some of the filters are some of the color filters that you can apply to your photograph so 
one of my favorite is the base palette and you can see from the original to the base palette this was without color and this is without color and this is really very fine so i can check with uh with the uh, pastel notes matte ruby cinematic shades radiant rainbow this is the most interesting thing about it so it's free and you may be wondering me after applying that effect me after applying that filter how am i going to save that photo because i'm doing the stuff online i'm not having it in my computers you can click here right to download and it will download the photo right to where your downloads are saved and that photo is saved as a png and, and that's one of the good qualities that you can save in an image so click here to browse your saved it and these are some of my downloads and the photo is right here so from being black and white using our ai the palette we have made it through to colorize and put add a fill of color to our photograph let's go back to our browser and click new and browse to the other photos let me get this old lady she looks like mona lisa though not and after loading you try to look for what you really want so check for any filter that you feel like want or you can try all let me try this vintage charm since it's an old photo let's try to see what the filter will create for us so this software this online software it's easy to use it's a it's easy to use it's the easiest so look at this from being black and white we have applied a photo using this palette and look at the photo how it looks so let's try to set this and compare to the old one so you have downloaded it you go to the browser and open this photo wow look at that this is awesome from being black and white to color this is perfect let's try to do it with other filters let's try to use ambient historic and you see how that photo will look like wow look at that so let's try to open up other photos and see how they can really look with this filters in the software so it has opened up let's try to use colorful memories and see how that photo can look and it's loading wow look at that the ai has detected the waters the buildings in the photo and try to select subjects in the photo and color them differently so let's first download this and try to review some of it so open this photo and we see what it has created so this was a charge it has made the rooftop to be a little yellowish and brownish and this was water the AI has detected that that was water and colored it to blue wow that's nice look at the white balance what is white is white and what is black is black so some areas are warm some areas are cool I love this so look at this building it's yellow this is red this is red this is yellow so the the trees have been colored to green the rooftops of these far away buildings have been 
brought to red, a bit of red, and I love this. This is a way to make your black and white photos pop. Just go in your browser, click Beta Pixel, check for palette, click in the palette and go right to what you have been doing. So it's going to colorize your photos from being dark to some vividness and bright colors. Thank you for watching. I hope you have loved this tutorial and don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you never done before. See you in the next tutorial. Don't throw your photos. Make sure you get them colorized. Thanks for watching.